What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, it's going to be a little bit more boring. Uh, it's pretty much about me and my life for those who actually really like care. So, if you don't, if this, if you don't like boring videos, then you can just skip off this one. It's just going to be about my life, who I am, you know, what I've been through, and all that stuff, you know. I was a 16 year old teenager and stuff, you know. But, um, so, yep, this is me, I'm Chaz, um, 16, uh, I like to watch Johnny Gilbert and Jake Weber, I mainly like Johnny, I'm just a 16 year old version of him, <laughs> pretty much, except for the, lo the looks, just personality wise, so, yeah, I mean, there's not much really to me other than, you know, like, uh, as, personally for me, myself, I've been through, you know, like, a lot of you know, mental instability, oh wow, you're a teenager, that's what a lot of people go through, I mean, it's not too special, or whatever, I mean, yes, I go through, like, depression and stuff, I mean, I've done self-harm, I've, you know, just done, like, I've been through counseling, therapy, hasn't worked out that much for me, it's only helped a little bit, but I'm getting better little by little, I mean, Whenever I was in the sixth grade, I forgot what, how old I was, probably around like 11, 12, I don't know, I can't remember, is whenever I first started that, uh, I did a funny haha -ha on my hand, on the palm of my hand, uh, word got around about it, a couple of uh, girls told the counselor or teachers about it, and I had, I was forced to go to counseling and stuff, so... I couldn't go back to school until I got the counseling I needed, which I only went there one day, and that was it. And they let me go back to school, which I think is kind of pretty useless if you really think about it. Just only one day of counseling, not even a full day, probably just like an afternoon of just counseling. That doesn't help a depressed kid. But when I was in eighth grade, I um, went behind my parents' back and I went through um, counseling and stuff, and I was actually supposed to go to therapy. But whenever the counselor called my parents, and I told her not to, um, she said that in order for me to get to go to therapy, I had to get, you know, parental, you know, I had to have my parents say that I could, and um, whenever I went back home that day, my parents told me that they didn't want me to go to therapy because they apparently didn't want, um, you know, like, the school getting into, you know, our private life and stuff, you know, which is a little bit shallow, if you really think about it, but off of the depressing topics or whatever, which I'm not going to tell, you know, like, all my problems, because some of it's a little dark, uh, dude, get out and record him, go, like what about? your mom, copyright music, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't hear it, go, Go. Anyways, <laughs> um, so off the depressing topics and stuff, which gotta get that out of the way or whatever. Which I'm not gonna say all of my problems, which will be like a trigger warning to some, and I probably shouldn't say it on YouTube because you know, probably get you know bitched at more or less. But um, so. Basically, mainly in my life, I mean, I'm just a sophomore high school student going on to be a junior, hopefully, <laughs> if I don't get held back, because I'm failing some of my grades, but I'm working on it. So, yeah, but anyways, off of the boring stuff or whatever, um, I do have a, uh, a thing, well, I mean, I pretty much have, like, Tourette's, but it isn't that noticeable, really, because, I mean, like, I prepare myself, after, like, before each, um, like, video and stuff, so it won't be, like, noticeable, you know, because, I don't know, I mean, whenever I was a kid, I mainly had, you know, um, Tourette's in my legs, because, um, sometimes I would tick, and I would accidentally like, kick something or whatever, or I would, like, fall randomly out of nowhere for absolutely no reason, and later on, I found out that I had, you know, a minor case of, like, Tourette's. And you now, um, I mean, I usually have, like, Tourette, 
or like have my tics like in my neck or in my arms or shoulders and stuff. It doesn't happen too often, but it still happens. Especially whenever I have like a high like caffeine dosage, which I mean, if I just eat something like simple, like a chocolate bar, that would be too much caffeine for me, and I'll start, you know, like, um, like ticking, or like my heart will be like pumping really, really fast, or whatever. So I might be really, I might be somewhat sensitive to caffeine, but not to the point where I'm gonna be throwing up or whatever. It doesn't make me sick. But, um, so there's that. Um, so, uh, for me and my lifestyle, um, I am scene, punk, and emo. Mainly punk and scene. But I do listen to, like, some emo music and stuff. For punk, I listen to a couple, like, punk, punk bands or whatever. Pop punk, punk rock, that sort of stuff. I listen to, uh, Set It Off. I listen to the Sex Pistols, Bad Religion. Um, you know, all those bands and stuff, and then other bands I listen to, My Chemical Romance, obviously, because, I mean, they're a good band, and then, um, let's see, I listen to Korn, Slipknot, Slipknot's a big one for me, as well as My Chemical Romance, and, um, let's see, I listen to Insane Clown Posse, um, hopefully at some point gonna be getting some of their comic books, hopefully, because I'm a, because their comic books look pretty cool. I've seen some clips of it and stuff on, like, online and stuff. But, um, anyways, uh, you can't see it in the background, but over, far over there or whatever, you can't see it because there's a wall in the way. And it's not really in camera or whatever, but I have a shelf and I pretty much have a Five Nights at Freddy's shrine. I got, like, posters, or a, a one poster, I shouldn't say posters, but, um, I got a couple of their books, plushies, figures, tiny Funko Pops, stuff like that, and I also have the Five Nights at Freddy's board game, Survive Till 6 AM. Whenever I saw that, I was very surprised, to say the least, but, um... So yeah, another thing, I like to make, um, like, bracelets and stuff, mainly, like, candy or whatever. Um, I made a few. I also make, um, pull tab bracelets, chains and stuff. These, these bracelets, I couldn't get the, um, like, usual plastic beads or whatever that people usually make with candy. But these are, like, little, like, tiny glass beads. These two go together because I couldn't really fit the whole entire thing onto one bracelet. But, um, it says, I'm not okay, I promise. Especially, like, a My Chemical Romance thing for those of you out there who listen to them. And this one is for the Sex Pistols. And then I'm thinking about making a System of a Down bracelet, but I haven't done that yet. And then, what else? Uh, this is my cat's collar. He's still alive, but I still like to wear his collar as a bracelet because we had to take it off of him and we got him a new one, so I decided to keep this one. I let him play with it because it has a little bell on it and stuff that ring that like jingles. And then I have this thing. This is my child. His name is Little Man. I forgot what his name was for a minute, but this is Little Man. I also have other children. Um one of them's a key ring. I named him Willie. Don't ask. I know. A very original name. But what else? Let's see. Got a whole bunch of other bracelets and stuff. This bracelet is more like candy, but the uh, string on it is pretty much a old boot lace because I didn't have like the elastic bands and stuff. But this one has some pull tabs on it from like Red Bull, Monster Energy, Rockstar. That's pretty much it. I need to make more of these. But, yeah. And then, a big thing for my room decor. You can see back here, it's, um, made some band stuff. And then, like, skulls. I drew all of this. I really like to draw skulls. I've mainly, um, like this one right, right here. It's a ram skull, or a satanic ram skull. And then, 
That one is just, you know, human skull with an arm. Or whatever. And then I've drawn, like, stuff like goat skulls. Animal skulls. Uh, I drew a cat skull, a squirrel one. And a few other ones I forgot. But, yeah. So on to more school life. Yay! Uh, main classes that I'm in for this semester is, um, obviously world history... You gotta have that, as well as English, geometry. Surprise, said I'm barely passing that even. Uh, what else? I mean, my English class is a college class. I don't even know why I'm in there. But it's hell, to say the least. It kind of sucks. Because, like, my teacher, she throws out everything in one day. And, like, the deadline is, like five days after she told you what you're supposed to do like she'll say something on like monday then she'll be like oh your due date's gonna be on friday like we need more time to do something because like you just can't randomly say the due date is gonna be soon whenever you're telling us you have to we have to make like a huge essay but uh Another class I'm in, which two of the, these, both of these are my favorite. I'm in a culinary, an intro to culinary arts class, which is called, um, like, Foods and Nutrition. That class would be so good if certain people wasn't in the class. Because, like, the class is awesome. We actually get to cook stuff. Like, we've cooked, um, like, uh, damn it. We cooked, like, cookies, donuts, um... We cooked a lot of good stuff. It was pretty good. We also made, like, cupcakes for the whole entire school. Because sometimes, like, once every month, the school will... Child. Oh, my God. My catch here. Dude, get out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, don't scare the cat off. Leave. Be gone, thought. I'm gonna rip that wig off your face. Don't ask. Anyways, back on topic. <laughs> what was I talking? Oh yeah, all right. I remember. I remember things. So, uh, things that we've cooked in the class. Like I said, cookies, donuts, other stuff, cupcakes. Um, we've cooked things that aren't sweets. Don't worry. <laughs> Because we, um, there was one time we made, um, let's see, we made some queso dip. That was really good. With, like, to some tortillas and stuff. And, uh, let's see what else. I forgot what else we made, actually. Because it's been a while. <laughs> Let me go get the cat. I will show the cat. Dude, come back. Come here. I have stolen. Here we go. Kitty cat. He's almost on the back. He's got some white on his chest and stuff. His name is Maxwell. <laughs> oh my god, why are you no oh my god. Don't step on the Chromebook. That's not nice. He's mean. He's not that mean, he's a sweetheart. He's very, very loving and fluffy. But, yeah, my life is somewhat bland and boring. I wish it was a little bit more eventful and stuff, because I have to wait a couple of years until I'd be able to actually do the stuff that I want. Like, frequently go to the mall and stuff, or whatever, and just go out, just for the hell of it. But, it'll be worth it if I just keep going, hopefully. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my life... Is slowly but surely getting there. Um, I mean, there's not really much to me. I mean, I'm just me. Uh, if you stick around more in, on this YouTube channel, I'll hopefully post, like, better YouTube content and stuff. Like, um, I have another YouTube channel or whatever with, uh, one of my brothers. We do paranormal investigations and stuff. Um, the YouTube channel is called The Mocking Screamers. And, uh, we post a few 
kind of good videos and stuff or whatever about uh, like there's one video we went to um Johnny Cash's gravesite in Tennessee so that was pretty cool then we found a couple of like abandoned houses or whatever but yeah and then we finally got a drone recently so we're gonna be using that for upcoming videos on that YouTube channel and then yeah I mean there's not really much else to say about it but I hope you guys like this video regardless of how boring it may seem. But thank you for those who um, stuck around, listened to um, a little section of like my life story or whatever. I mean, it hasn't ended yet. But I hope you guys like this video anyways. Um, if you like, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.